So today I've been playing with the National Weather Service REST API. Uh, so for Silicon Doja, we're gonna have a class in a couple of weeks, uh, basically uh, getting geographic information using your IP address and then doing something with that geographic information. Uh, things like getting weather reports, things like getting news, that type of stuff. Uh, and so one of the things that I found is this National Weather Service API uh, that gives you alerts about issues going on right so if there is flooding if there's storms if that type of thing is going on uh, you can actually get alerts and you can get it, uh, the alerts based off of what state you're in you can actually get the alerts based off of uh, what what lat and lawn you're at too uh, but we're probably going to be just dealing with with uh, the state today right um, so what's kind of cool so I've been writing this uh, this crappy little script my crappy script um, and basically what this does uh, is it's going to pull what my current IP address is. So my external IP address for this computer, uh, it will pull that IP address uh, and it will then feed that IP address through an API that will give me back geographic information about that IP address. Uh, so I'll be able to get things like the lat, the long, the state that IP address is located in. And then based off of the state that that IP address is located in, uh, I will then print out what's going on. So I'll be print out a headline, description, and the areas that are affected by whatever alert <clears throat> is currently happening. Uh, so I'm using uh, Tunnel Bay right now. So uh, so I know I know the hackers out there might want to know my home IP address for some reason, uh, but I'm using this. And so like right now, um, I think I'm in Georgia as far as this is concerned. Uh, so what I can do is I can hit the run button. I hit the run button, uh, that's done. Let's go up and take a look here, right? So it shows me what my external IP address is. <clears throat> it then shows me, uh, this just prints out the JSON response uh, that gives me all the, the geographic information about that IP address. It tells me what city I'm in. Um, it tells me, uh, let's see, the, the lat and the long, and it tells me what state. It then comes down here and says flood warning issued for September 6 at 1126 a.m. And it gives Gives all of this information here. Um, let's see, information, information, and then it says uh, what location this is for. Uh, another, another warning here. We can scroll down and what this location is for. So imagine um, again. Let's say you have a business, an installer's business, right? You send out crews to do construction, to do installing, installation, something like that. <clears throat> imagine if you had this uh, basically set up as a script on your server to run every 10 minutes or so. Uh, and then if there's a significant warning for your particular area, you could use Twilio uh, to send out an SMS message, or you could use SendGrid to send out an email message to all of your installers to tell them uh, this particular issue is going on. Uh, one of the big problems we have now in the modern world is many of us don't listen to radio anymore. So not that long ago, 20 years ago, everybody listened to radio. So if there was an alert that went out on the radio, most people would know what was happening. Now, you know, a lot of us just listen to Apple Music or Spotify or whatever else. Uh, so you may have crews in the field that have no idea a flood or something like that is coming along. Uh, and so if you set up a, uh, a script to basically go out, grab these national uh, these uh, these alerts for your particular area, and then parse you know based off of what the actual location is, uh, that might be useful. Uh, I can go up here again since we're using Tunnel Bear. I can click on this and let's say uh, I don't know. Let's say I want to be in Dallas. Uh, so let's think that thing is now clicked over to Dallas. Uh, if I come here, hit clear, then I run this. What's going on in Dallas, right? So uh, so we can scroll up, scroll up, 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 up. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on in Dallas or, or Texas today. Might not want to be in, holy crap. Not even a joke. There we go. Uh, shows me the IP address for there. Uh, shows me I'm Dallas and taxes with the dot long uh, for this particular IP address, a heat advisory uh, for September 6, 307, where uh, a lot of description here, and then down here, it gives a lot more uh, of locations where this is going on. And again, uh, making sure your crews are, are drinking water or getting into air conditioning or, or whatever else, right? Heat index values up to 112, that sucks. Uh, heat, uh, heat index values up to 105, you know, where is Central Texas? Yes. 
Uh, so anyway, so this kind of shows you, you know, it gives you what the alerts are in Georgia, it gives you what the alerts are in Texas. Uh, so this might be something useful for, for you or your company. Again, everything that I do at Silicon Dojo, I'm trying to either solve a problem or I'm trying to have the students either solve a problem or simulate solving a problem. Uh, and this is that, that type of thing. Like, again, I really want you to think about this. I think about this with, uh, you know, everybody's AI, AI, AI. I don't give a damn about AI. Most of this crap is an AI. Large language models are not AI. I'll say it. I'll say it. Large language models are not actually AI. Anyways, what I do find very interesting though, is the concept of your facilities understanding their environment and then providing resources or then providing information to your employees and to your managers. Again, whether it is having little audio devices uh, around your facility uh, that are constantly turning uh, audio into text and then pinging managers if somebody says something like the n-word right that's something uh, or it's something like this where imagine you have the system constantly scanning again for either weather or, you know for the weather alerts any other kinds of alerts and then being able to notify your employees in near real time of what's going on right and that is the kind of thing that i think can be incredibly valuable valuable for small businesses. Uh, 20 years ago, um, you know, network printers, <laughs> Again, I, I remember when network printer, like I remember when a jet direct car cost damn near a thousand dollars just for the card, right? Anyways, 20 years ago, network printers um, and file sharing, that was a cool thing for infrastructure. What I really want people to be thinking about now is, is again, giving, again, it's not AI, it's not a, but giving your infrastructure awareness. Can you make your infrastructure aware of the environments that it's in and then be able to provide support to your employees or to your stakeholders based off of whatever the situation is, right? That is uh, what I'm interested in, no matter how creepy it may sound. Uh, so anyways, if you're interested in this, uh, it's no big deal. It's uh, weather.gov. Uh, yeah, www.weather.gov, and then you go to documentation or whatever else. Basically, you just do a Google search for a National Weather Service uh, API. Um, and again, this is just a REST API. So all your, oh, you don't have to install any modules. Uh, we're just using requests here to get this. And uh, again, api.weather.gov, alerts, active area, equal state, bring it back in JSON, and then uh, be able to, to pull information out. So anyways, uh, if you like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. Share the video. If you hate this video, if you think this is the worst video you've ever seen in your life, share it. Share it to all your friends so you can laugh at me. Because <laughs> I still get my fraction of a cent, even if somebody doesn't like my video. Anyways, do all that kind of stuff. And, and again, this is the kind of thing that we are doing at Silicon Dojo. So if you want to learn more about technology or you know somebody else that does, uh, make sure they sign up for classes. And with that, see you later.